process is complete. Okay, before I click on this button, let me take you back here to the modification button generator and point out this checkout page style. You can set the page style for your checkout forms on a per button basis. So every time you generate a, a, a button, uh, you can set the page style to something different each time if you like. And on a modification button, I recommend that you use a custom page style specifically for modification buttons. So you'd want to log into your PayPal account and create a custom page style uh, that would be that might read something like custom for modifications or, or something along those lines. And I'm going to explain why I suggest that here in just a moment. So let's go back over to this other tab and let's pretend that we're logged in as a level zero free subscriber and we click on the upgrade button, which is a modification button that we generated with S2 member. When I click on this button, okay, this is going to take me to the PayPal checkout form. The same way that a new customer who did not have an account would be joining. And for all practical purposes, this form looks exactly the same, which that's good and that's bad. It's good because it's not intimidating to the customer because it's something that they've likely already seen before, particularly if they're already a paid member of your site and they're just modifying to a new plan. Uh, and also because if they've used PayPal in the past, this is very familiar to them as well. But it's, it's bad because it can be confusing to a customer sometimes because it almost looks like they're signing up for something new. So in this case, it's not a huge deal because we're assuming I was a free subscriber and now I'm upgrading for the first time to paid access. But what if I was offering two or three levels on this site where I would be a member that was already paying you, let's say, $69 a month, and now I'm upgrading to premium where I'm going to pay you $169. Well, to the customer, they might be thinking when they get to this page, they might be uh, looking at this from the perspective that, okay, now I'm going to sign up for another one, so I'm going to be charged $169 a month plus the 69 that I'm already paying. So we want to make it clear what is actually going on here. And in order for you to make that clear, first you have to understand what's actually happening. And that's what this video is about. When they log in here, when a customer logs in, they're going to put in their PayPal email address and their password and click log in. But instead of being confronted with the checkout form, as they would if they were a brand new subscriber, they would be confronted if they're already associated with a subscription uh, with you as the merchant. They would be confronted with a decision and PayPal would ask them to choose a new subscription option. So they would switch their current plan with you that would be automatically detected by PayPal. And they would be given the option to switch to this new premium membership. So they wouldn't be paying the 69 that they were, they were paying plus the 169. They would be switching the plan over to the 169. Okay, so what's important to explain to the customer when they reach this page is that they need to log in so that PayPal can determine and display that list of current subscriptions that they have with you so that they can modify and change to this new one that you specified in the modification button that they came here with originally. And the way you would accomplish that is using a header image up here that you can set in your custom page style that we were just talking about a moment ago. So if I have a custom page style that's specifically for modification buttons, then I can put this large header image up here and I could put my logo and then I could put a message here that says, please log in to modify your subscription through PayPal or something to that effect. So that the customer is instructed here specifically about what they need to do in order to accomplish the mission that they're on in order to, to modify the existing subscription they have. So that's a great way to do that and it can help to avoid confusion. Okay, now whenever they log in, you notice that there is one difference here, and that is you see this little, this little notation that says updating subscriber or subscription ID 1. Now as the site administrator, this is my ID in WordPress. I'm the user ID 1. The customer would be maybe be 2452 or, or whatever their ID number is. When this comes back from PayPal when they return, this information is sent back to S2 member automatically. And then S2 member can determine that this account needs to be updated as opposed to redirecting the customer to the registration form or sending them a new thank you confirmation email. We would just redirect the customer back to their account with the new 
updated information at premium membership with, with a new level. So S2 member handles that automatically for you. And that's how you, that's how you tell S2 member to do that is by creating a modification button. So the modification button is designed to provide the customer with the ability to log in at PayPal and switch their existing subscription or create a subscription that would update a current free subscriber, in this case, to a paid option. So either one of those scenarios as two members is, is compatible with. Uh, that's what the modification button does. And this, this is what I'm pointing out here is that when you create one of these modification buttons, you should probably use a, a custom checkout style that would be specifically for these modification forms. Okay. So that's, that's the whole process, and uh, there's nothing real complex about it. If you don't, a, a lot of site owners don't prefer this. They don't, they, they would, they would want to make it a little more user friendly. And if you feel that way, uh, it's because although this works, it's not what I would consider to be ideal. Uh, but this is a limitation in the PayPal standard integration. This is, this is the most, that, this is the best that you can accomplish with PayPal standard. So an alternative to this, if you're not, if you're not satisfied with it, is to upgrade to S2 Member Pro. And with S2 Member Pro, the integration is with what's called the PayPal Pro API, which completely changes the way PayPal integrates. Uh, and that makes it possible for the upgrade to take place right on your site. Uh, and you can dress it up and, and you can be much more direct about what's happening. Uh, and we're going to cover separate videos on S2 Member Pro. So just to point that out as an alternative, uh, if this bothers you or you think that your customers might be uh, confused by this. Okay. Uh, in the next video, we're going to st uh, start to cover uh, the specific post page access and we'll talk more about how you could sell access to specific products or services on your site uh, without requiring a member to actually be logged in or even to have an account. Uh, so this would be a, a more traditional way of just selling direct access to a specific post or page. Uh, so take a look at the next video for uh, more information on this topic.